out first of all. Um, good news for Hudson Young, uh, getting picked in the 17 for the Blues and uh, deserved of a position after some strong form in the start of the season. Yeah, he started the season well and uh, he's been quite consistent right throughout and I think he, he deserves his, uh, his spot in the 17. And um, I know how passionate he is about playing representative football and um, as his coach, that, that excites me for him too because I know how much it means to him. Last year, he got a bit of a rough start to his rep career, played just the one game and didn't see any more football. I suppose it's an opportunity for him now to you know, show everyone what he's got. Yeah, and that's, that's the best position to be in, the fact that uh, you know, it's up to him now. Um, but he won't let the, the jumper down, he won't let the, uh, the state down at all. Um, I love the passion he plays with and it means, it means a lot to him and when he's got that, uh, that type of purpose and, um, and, and passion for the, um, the jumper and, and, and his football, it's, it's why we love Hudson and the, and the Raiders team. Uh, you're not here this week, obviously, but you know, at to Mariotta, you've used him in the, on the edge um, a couple of times this season and you know, he'll do the same again this week. Yeah, he's, uh, he's trained a lot there too right throughout the off-season. I, I see him as a, um, a guy who's an edge middle player and um, you know, he's, uh, he brings a different type of game to Hutto, but um, you know, there's a lot of confidence in Hutto playing in that position. Obviously, you know, your forward depth's been tested over the last couple of weeks. Um, uh, <coughs> the opportunity for some guys to get some football this week again. Yeah, it is. Um, you know, with Hosko, Corey, um, Horsburgh, um, Basami, um, you know, those guys, those guys are all on the injured bench, but they're, when they return, they're going to bring some uh, freshness, they're going to bring some energy. What it's allowed us to do is give some younger players experience at playing NRL in, um, uh, in the guys that we've debuted and played. So, um, you know, for the, for the disadvantage of the injuries, it gives other players the opportunity, as you've seen in the halves uh, with Kaio. It, it gives us the opportunity to play those younger blokes in first grade, get them experience. So, overall, it gives the uh, the squad a benefit at the back end of the season. In terms of experience, no, no more than Josh Papaliti coming back into the side this week. Uh, obviously, he'll you know bring some assurance and, and firmness in the middle of the field. He does. Um, we all, you know, we know what Papa brings to the team, and it's not not only on the field, but when he's around the the, the training environment, it's uh, yeah, it's great having Papa back. Talk. A couple of weeks ago, about how important it was to have guys like Elliot and Rapper, but Papa doesn't say much, but his presence sort of does the talking. He doesn't need to, but when he does, it's, it, it's, it, it hits you. And uh, um, the Papa's a guy that they follow, and, and he does. When the time's right, Papa does speak, and it's a uh, it's always it's always a uh, something that the boys grasp onto. And a, um, but he's, he's, he's definitely a leader through his actions. Last couple of games, we haven't played at home. You've come away with a couple of really good, gritty wins. Are you hoping for more of the same this week? It looks like the, the, the environment looks like it's going to be gritty. Um, I think we're expecting a fair bit of uh, wet weather up there. So we get a session in here this morning. We're under those, you know, the same conditions.